Hi all, thank you for coming to this quick tutorial on how to make a woolly woolly mammoth. So the first thing you want to do is get a heavy piece of paper or I have some cardstock here. Or you can also use some watercolor paper. And then you're going to want to find um, a good outline of a woolly mammoth. So you can draw one just like I did. I actually went and used a YouTube tutorial on how to draw a woolly mammoth and it was actually quite simple um, once you have all the steps. For really, really young kids, you'll probably have to help. Um, but otherwise, you can go online and try to find one and just print one out, um, or even just do a basic outline of just doing like a head, you know, a circle for a head, a trunk, a body, four legs, and a tail. You really don't need to be that detailed, just as long as you get the basic shapes down. So don't worry if it doesn't look like this, um, or if it you know, doesn't have to be professional or anything. Just get the basic idea of a woolly mammoth. Just the head, the trunk, the tusks, you know, the ear, big ears, the big legs, and all we're gonna do is make them woolly. So I have a brown marker, so I'm just going to start. I just want to color, color him in with my brown. And if you don't want to use markers, you don't need to use markers. You could use crayons if you want. You can even pop out the uh, the paints if you want to use paints. My marker is a little bit on the dry side, but that's okay because we're going to be covering it um, anyway, making it wooly. You're also going to need some glue. Glue sticks will not work for this. You'll need either hot glue or um, Elmer's glue or tacky glue. Use hot glue, of course, be careful and use supervision. I'm gonna color his trunk here. I'm gonna leave his, his tusk white. I'm just gonna get as much as I can colored here. Just to get the basics of the background here. Okay, so that's my woolly mama colored in. And then all I want to do is get some brown yarn or string or, um, you know, dark colors, things like that. Start snipping off some, some pieces here. And then you're going to want to just start gluing them down on your, glue them from the top down and just start gluing them down till it looks like a woolly mammoth. So there's really no, um, right or wrong way to do this. You just want to start gluing them on for younger kids. You know, they'll probably just glue them every which way. For older kids, they can probably make start gluing them up here and make them look like an actual, um, actual woolly mammoth fur. However you want to do it. If you want to just do not as much, you don't have to put as much on. Um, kind of up to you. So you just want to make sure that you get just enough glue to glue it down. So I'm gonna start back here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right there and then I'm gonna go right next to it. Just like that. We're just making our woolly mammoth woolly. So again, if you don't want to go this route, you can just, you can glue them any which way, like here and here, you know, just to add a little, a little definition, a little dimension to our woolly mammoth. Doesn't have to be the exact same way at all. And you can use different colors too if you want. I'm also going to, I know I have an eye right here, but just, just because we can, we're going to put a little googly eye here just to make his eye pop out a little bit. There you go. So now it's up to you, once you're done with doing all this, it's up to you if you wanna cut this out and then you can put it on a background or you can make it stand up. And um, that is just your basic paper and yarn woolly mammoth. 